Hey there everyone, welcome back to Mashup Math. Anthony here and thank you for joining me on this practice problem. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back and thank you for joining me on this problem where we are going to gain some experience solving real world problems involving multiplying two digit numbers using area models. So let's go ahead and model this situation. We have a grocery store owner who ordered 43 boxes of donuts to sell in her bakery section. And we also know that there are 24 donuts inside of each box. And finally, we have to use this information to figure out how many donuts will she receive in total. Now it should be fairly easy to tell that we're going to have to multiply the 43 boxes by the 24 donuts in each box to find the total number of donuts. However, if you're a visual learner like me, multiplying numbers like 43 and 24 can be tricky if you don't have a visual model. So we're going to go ahead and create our own and use it to find the product. So we are going to go ahead and construct a rectangular area model to represent the multiplication. Now on the top row of the model, we're going to put 43, and on the left column, 24. Starting with 43, we can represent this in easier terms, and we can think of 43 as the sum of 40 and 3. These numbers are much easier to work with. We can do the same with the value of 24 by thinking of it as the sum of 20 and 4. Again, these numbers are much easier to work with. And now we can go ahead and find the value of each section of the area model by multiplying corresponding rows and columns. First, we'll start with the product of 20 and 40, which we know is equal to 800. Then the product of 20 and 3, which we know is equal to 60. Next, we can find the product of 40 and 4, which we know is equal to 160, and finally the product of 4 and 3, which we know is just equal to 12. And now that we have completed our area model, we can use it to find the value of 43 multiplied by 24. And we can do this by finding the sum of those four values inside the area model. So we take 800, 160, 60, and 12, and add them all together to have a total of 1032. So now we can conclude that she will receive 1032 donuts in total. Oh yeah! So whenever we have to multiply weird numbers like 43 and 24, try using strategies like constructing a visual area model to find the product. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you again so much for stopping by, and I will see you all next time. Oh, yeah.